Drama has been buzzing online. Beekeepers aren't happy with a certain TikToker. She wears black leggings, um, an unbuttoned overtop, and her long, beautiful hair is just out in the open, flowing in the wind. While some people are showing their support. In my opinion, I think it pits uh, women against women or is portraying um, kind of cattiness or pettiness um, amongst women. Others are not impressed. I'm straight up calling her out and saying, what you do is fake. What this TikToker can do will leave you speechless. Either she's like got skin, she's like a superhero, she's got like Superman skin, you know, can't, can't go through her skin. <laughs> Our nerves are steel, one of the two. It's time to spill the tea on some bees. It takes a certain kind of person to be able to touch bees with their bare hands. While most of us can agree it's important to save the bees, this woman has taken her love for bees to a professional level. She'll go to great lengths to make sure the bees are kept safe. Okay, but like, why aren't you getting stung? Girl is braver than anyone on this app. This beekeeper is a bee lover. She does all she can to help all colonies of bees. She helps colonies that need new queen bees. If a colony needs a new queen bee, one thing I can do is to order a queen from a bee breeder and get the new queen delivered to me in the mail. The queen arrives in a little cage with her attendant bees and a bit of candy for food. Then, I introduce the queen to the colony to see if they will accept her. If they don't like her, they will kill her almost immediately. But if they do like her, they will start to surround her and take care of her like they're doing here. The queen bee doesn't do anything for herself so that she can focus on her one job, laying eggs. She has a group of attendant bees that follows her everywhere. They clean her and feed her and take care of all of her needs or it could be a colony that needs relocating. After I rescue a colony of bees, I drive home with them and I put their hive in my main apiary, which also happens to be in my backyard. After I unload them from my truck, I carefully set their hive on a stand. Then I make sure they have everything they need and I let the bees settle into their new home. Her name is Erica Thompson and she runs the beekeeping company, Texas Bee Works. Her TikToks have gone viral for her love of saving and protecting bees, and her method of handling bees with her bare hands. She has a love for animals, especially her pet dove, three dogs, five chickens, and millions of bees. Erica's love for bees inspired her to move to a home with a larger property so she could keep her bees close to her. Her TikTok account has an impressive 9.1 million followers and 116.8 million likes across her videos. Her most viewed video has received over 112 million views. Anyone who watches Erica's videos can tell she has a special relationship with the insects. According to an interview with Texas Monthly, Erica's love for bees began with a beekeeping course at the University of Texas. It helped her understand how bees work. She believes bees are docile creatures. When bees are in swarms like this, it means they're looking for a new place to live. They tend to be very docile since they don't have any resources to defend. They don't have a hive food, or baby bees to protect. Erica always makes sure to read the temperament of the bees for her safety. The bees had worked so hard to build this hive, and I wanted to do everything I could to preserve it for them. I started scooping bees out of the washing machine and putting them into the new hive. As a professional beekeeper, the most important part of my job is being able to understand bee behavior, and I could tell that these bees felt comfortable with me as we worked together. She works hard to make sure the bees are comfortable in their new homes. A few days later, I opened the hive to check on them. Here you can see all of the rubber bands I used during the hive removal process. The bees will attach the comb structure from the original hive into the wooden frames of the new hive. Sometimes they'll even use the rubber bands as building guides or as scaffolding to help them build more comb. When the bees have secured the comb into the frames, they'll chew through the rubber bands and drag them out of the hive. And now the bees can continue the important work they do in peace. Her care of and support for the bees has given her a large fan base. Why does it feel like a warm hug when you say bees? When I was little, I wanted to be a doctor, but now I want to be a beekeeper. Erica loves to educate people on bees. In one TikTok, she explained most colonies are mostly female. Did you know that you've probably never seen a male honeybee before? That's because over 90% of a colony's population is female. Female bees are called worker bees for a reason. They do all the work for the hive. They collect food for the colony, they build the hive, they raise the baby bees, and they take care of the queen bee. A lot of commenters brought up the 2007 film Bee Movie, 
All I got from this was B-movie was a sham. Then why was there more male bees in the B-movie? Bruh, the B-movie lied to me. A significant part of her job includes relocating bee colonies from unwanted locations to her backyard. She claims the process itself can take anywhere from 45 minutes to 4 hours, depending on how big the hive is. Erica has around 50 hives in her backyard. She said she has always been a fan of bugs. I spent a lot of time in my backyard on nights and weekends trying to collect bugs and put them in jars to keep them and care for them. It's something I've been into my entire life. As we mentioned before, Erica has been studying bees for over a decade. It started with her taking a beekeeping class out of curiosity at the University of Texas, but she didn't expect it to become her full-time job. Erica originally worked as a communications director for a nonprofit organization and wasn't sure if she could house bees at her home. However, she still felt a passion for bees and continued to educate herself on them, and eventually found herself with her own hives. It wasn't long before she launched Texas Bee Works and began working days, nights, and even taking her lunch breaks to help others keep bees by driving the hives around in her hatchback. In 2019, it became her full-time job. She said she finds taking care of bees to be very exciting. Nothing compares to going into a wild hive of bees and not knowing what you're going to find. You take off the cover and you get to meet the bees. It's just extraordinary to get to see what the bees built without any human intervention or interference. From the way they work together as a super organism, and nobody thinks of herself as an individual, but does everything for the good of the colony, to the way they build the hive and forage and raise their young. Erica has attracted the attention of some famous figures, the most notable being Jason Derulo. I got a call to remove a colony of bees from this tree at superstar Jason Derulo's house, and here's how it went. Let's say the bees. We started to remove bees and comb from the tree. The bees were very gentle and were not trying to sting us. Not sting me? Oh. She's not gonna sting you. Oh, you're okay, she's you're coming. okay. The bees had a ton of extra honey, so everyone ate some fresh honey straight from the hive. Is it on my face? Yeah. Mmm. That is good, nice and warm. It's, it is pretty crazy. It's a lot different than the honey we get in the jars. Tasty. Man, so good. We need a bagel. Jason even took off his veil and ate some honeycomb. Mm. This is insane. After we removed as much comb as we could, we waited for the bees to get into their new hive so they could be relocated to the Bee Leaf USA Bee Sanctuary, and it was another great day of saving the bees. On May 24th, Friday Chamberlain, who works for the LA Honey Bee Rescue, accused Erica of promoting dangerous beekeeping by not wearing protective gear when rescuing her bees. She made a number of TikToks, which have now been deleted, accusing Erica of fake content. I'm straight up calling her out and saying, what you do is fake. At Texas Bee Works, I see you. We all see you. All of us female removal specialists, we see you. We know you're faking. Friday said she is fine with Erica showing the docile side of bees, but expressed concern with her attire. I'm 100% okay with her showing how docile swarms are, but the fact is that she goes into removals without wearing any safety gear, wearing black leggings, a black tank top, and a, like a dark blue shirt that's unbuttoned over top and like knotted. And she's setting a very dangerous precedent. She also believes Erica shouldn't have her long blonde hair out and flowing for safety reasons. Like the reason I keep my hair short is so bees don't get caught in it. If bees get caught in your hair, they sting. Every female beekeeper I know, they either cut their hair off or they put it up in a ponytail like, and scrape it into a bun so that bees don't get tangled in their hair and sting them on the neck. Friday believes Erica doesn't actually do the work. She shows herself actually removing comb, which her husband has pre-cut for her very courteously. Her husband goes in, cuts everything up for her, she lifts it up. In a now deleted TikTok, Friday said she also believes Erica uses her beekeeping for the purpose of getting followers. We all know you're faking. Enjoy your millions of followers. That's not why I do this. In another deleted TikTok, Friday said she thinks Erica uses sedatives to make the beads less harmful and easier to scoop up. She said she's concerned people will try to copy the allegedly dangerous techniques. Hilary Kearney, a beekeeper and author of the Queen Bee book, Queen Spotting, said since she's a blonde like Erica, bees don't come for her hair very often, but instead go for her dark-haired husband. She said there's a theory that bees dislike dark colors because they are similar colors to predators such as bears and skunks. 
people were loving the drama happening on Bee Talk. I never knew I wanted to see Beekeeper beef until now. The Bee Trail, sigh. I just found out there's Bee TikTok drama, I'm so invested. Many people jump to Erica's defense. If you see a video of people scooping up bees with their bare hands and think, oh, I can do this, then that is between you and your ego. It's like watching someone do a backflip and assuming, oh, I'll be able to do it too. She relocated them to her own apiary. By moving them out of nature where they can overrun local bees to a farm exclusively for honeybees, she's protecting local bees. Okay, so I'm a beekeeper, a hobbyist, not a professional, but I have my own hive and I've done swarm removals. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with how she presents her content. Several people also sided with Friday. She makes it look like anyone can do beekeeping, and she hides the knowledge that is needed for dealing with bees. I'm not a beekeeper, but I work in the wildlife field, and I've seen how this causes issues. I mean, it's not about the bees, it's about using short, context-free videos that glorify dangerous behavior. The fact that it happens to involve beekeepers is coincidental. She's definitely got some bee handling experience. The issue is that the vids are misleading. Staged as in she put the bees there, and they are already used to being handled, because they are hers. Still cool to us normal people, lol, but beekeepers have issues with her vids though. People on the subreddit r slash beekeeping were glad Friday called Erica out. I appreciate the vid and what LA Honeybee Rescue is getting at. Glad she posted it. I have friends that know I'm a beekeeper and will occasionally link me to the bee ladies' videos, and I have to explain to them that there's a lot of footage they aren't seeing for the sake of her narrative. It always drove me insane that at the very least, she was just too all about her image to tie her hair back. 100% the bees will innocently land on your hair, possibly get stuck if it's long and loose, then sting if they freak out enough. Tying long hair back to keep bees from getting stuck in your hair is the absolute bare minimum for protecting yourself, but she can't even do that because I guess it's more important to look cool for internet clout. I'm glad someone called her out. Every time I see one of those videos, I just have to roll my eyes. I watched the bee rescue lady and thought the same thing. No PPE and misleading. The videos are constantly cut, so it makes me wonder who actually does the real work. And so it's a bad example of safe practice. Also, she doesn't mention disease, checking for AFB, or any other basic disease chemical safe practices, which is really what saving bees is all about. Erica addressed the claims on her Instagram. Recently, a series of untrue and hurtful attacks was made about me and my work. Then, journalists chose to support and reward this online harassment by perpetuating a false narrative without taking time to check the facts. It's a sad day when people see a woman doing something that's so outside of the norm, they assume there's no way she can actually be doing those things. And if she is, she must be getting help from a man. Thank you to the mass of experienced beekeepers, leaders of the beekeeping community, and all of the beekeeping associations who were quick to come to my defense. As a professional beekeeper, it's my mission and my purpose to help people understand and appreciate the work of bees and beekeepers, and I'd really like to get back to doing that now. If you see a swarm or hive of bees that needs to be removed, don't call an exterminator. Call an experienced beekeeper to relocate the colony. Experienced beekeepers are the only ones who should be handling bees in these situations, because sometimes bees need a helping hand. Erica received a lot of support in the comments. This makes me so angry. You are amazing and so good at what you do. I commend you for keeping it classy and not letting it get to you. What's wrong with people? You're a badass with flawless hair who effortlessly saves the lives of bees. You're absolutely incredible to watch, and I love your videos. The coverage drew me to you. I was impressed. You mean your husband did not cut your comb? Rock on, pure jealousy. Keep looking hot while rescuing bees. She also received support from other bee rescues. We fully support you, Erica. We are so happy the bees have a voice like yours to speak up for them. Team Erica for life. The bees love you. Erica also explained why she doesn't wear traditional protective gear when beekeeping in an old Instagram post. People often ask me why I don't always wear a bee veil or bee suit while working on my bees. The short answer is that choosing not to wear protective gear most of the time is just a personal preference and many seasoned beekeepers opt to not wear a veil or a full suit all the time. I always suit up if I need to and I always recommend that other beekeepers do as well. The long answer is a combination of many things. First of all, I know my bees. After beekeeping for nearly 10 years, I've learned to read the bees' behavior and how to tell when they're aggressive or agitated. It's just like how you can tell when your dog or cat is happy or sad or scared. I always take time before I enter a hive to observe the bees and see how they respond when I start smoking them. I also work hard to manage the health and wellness of my hives so they don't become stressed out and defensive. In general, bees don't want to sting you. If I'm entering a hive of bees that I've never managed before or doing a live bee removal, I always wear gear. 
Next, it's hot in Texas, and especially so during the peak of beekeeping season. Sometimes I'm working 20 plus hives a day in 90 to 100 plus degree heat. Any way that I can keep myself cool and make it easy to drink a lot of water is a way I can stay safe in the heat. Finally, I find that I move with more intention and purpose when I'm wearing less gear, which is always better for the bees. Beekeeping gloves are thick and restrictive like welding gloves and cause you to lose dexterity. Beekeeping veils and suits can limit visibility. Wearing less gear forces me to slow down and be more conscious of every movement, especially if I'm working a lot of hives in a short window of time or racing daylight to finish bee work. More commenters supported Erica. You and your page are incredible. I hope to someday be a beekeeper when I retire from being a teacher in a few decades, haha. And this content is so encouraging to me. Your posts are always so interesting and informative. Thank you for taking the time and for being so generous with your knowledge. I love reading about your bees and the work you do. You have a beautiful love and respect for the little sweethearts, which is just heartwarming. Friday has since made a new account and has not posted about Erica and Erica has continued to post her regular bee content. It's important to note that Erica isn't the only person who doesn't wear protective gear when handling bees. When asked why some beekeepers can handle bees without protection, Mike H., who got his first hive in 1980, said, When dealing with a swarm, no protection is needed. Bees in a swarm are not at all aggressive. If you take care not to harm individual bees, they have no reason to sting you. For established colonies, getting to know the temperament of the particular hive helps a lot. Weather conditions, judicious use of smoke, and maintaining a calm, steady work pace are also factors. The highest number of hives that I ever held at one time was four. Two of them were docile, and I got to where I could work them on warm, sunny days without gloves. I never tried opening up a hive without a veil. That was too much risk for me. One user on Honeyflow forums says, you don't always have to wear protective gear, but if you choose not to wear protective gear, do it at your own risk. If I'm going to be inspecting or taking honey or doing something that will upset the bees, then I gear up. However, I have done work outside of hives and have opened up tops for short spans with no gear on at all. However, if you are going to work around bees with no suit, do expect to get stung once in a while. Bees in general are protective of their home and honey and you are an invader. Don't be fooled by their seeming docility as they can get aggressive if they feel threatened in any way. However, according to Bee and Bloom, a blog for beekeepers, beginner beekeepers should always wear protective gear. Experienced beekeepers know their hives and know how to read the bees' behavior. All new beekeepers should wear a veil, possibly a full suit if doing inspections, and they should wear bee gloves to protect their hands from getting stung. Leather is preferred as bees cannot sting through it. And finally, they should tuck their pants into their boots and not leave any skin exposed. According to OSB hives, there are over 20,000 different types of bees, who all have different temperaments. European honeybees are the most widely distributed and domestic bee species in the world. Domestication and years of breeding out aggressive characteristics have left European honeybees very docile. The German honeybee is a relatively new species of bees. It's rare to find a genetically pure German honeybee, as they are often bred with other types of honeybees. However, breeding with them can create a more aggressive bee. Africanized honeybees, originating in South Africa, became more well-known when a group of scientists allowed the bees to escape in Brazil. The scientists accidentally bred an aggressive bee known for invading other colonies and other dominant behavior. Italian honeybees are the most common and most popular type of bee. They're very gentle and are great at producing lots of honey and beeswax. Bees in general are important for the environment. They pollinate plants, allowing them to grow and produce food. This includes nuts and berries, which help animals to thrive. They also play a huge part in the ecosystem by supporting the growth of trees, flowers, and other plants, which provide food and shelter to many animals. Erica said she'll help the bees as much as she can. Bees need advocates, and I'm so glad to do that for them. Bees are an important part of our ecosystem, so it's good to see people are becoming more educated on how to protect and care for swarms. Have you ever encountered a swarm of bees? Let me know in the comments below.